All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. Now, on Monday, we did a little bit of a live stream. British Prodi, I think that's how we say it. He got in the comments and said, hey, Hugh, can you make some creamy garlicky mushrooms on toast? Of course we can, my friend. So this week, we are making the ultimate mushrooms on toast, brown mushrooms sauteed with a little bit of garlic, some Madeira just to give that full body an extra flavor, splash of cream, and then served on some charred toast. Guys, this, honestly, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. Come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's grab our mushrooms. Now, I'm just using brown mushrooms for this, guys. Um, I was thinking about getting some, you know, wild mushrooms or doing a, a you know, mixed assortment, but I just kind of thought, no, let's just make this completely accessible to everyone. Um, and, and also, yeah, sometimes you can just take the most humble of ingredients, like these beautiful brown mushrooms, and just transform it into something sensational. So let's just check them for a little bit of mud. You know, if the, if the skin's a bit slimy, just peel it off. And now we can just chop it into kind of like quarters or eighths, um, just like that. So roughly about that size. Okay, let's get a large frying pan on kind of like medium high heat. Once that's hot, we're gonna add a splash of olive oil, a couple of knobs of butter, Now let's get the mushrooms in. We need to add a pinch of salt and let's give them a little toss. Now we're gonna cook those on a kind of like medium high heat. And what we're looking to try and do guys is, mushrooms have got a lot of water in them. So we wanna drive that off. So we don't wanna cook them too quickly, too high. We want them kind of like medium on there. So just give, keep giving them a good toss or just move them around with a wooden spoon. Okay, this is a great visual to explain all of this. So you can see all that lovely steam being driven off. That's exactly what we want. We want to drive off all that moisture so we're left with that lovely concentrated flavor of the mushrooms. So keep it on that medium temperature. Just give it a toss every now and again just to help kind of move it around. We don't want anything burning, just nice and golden and caramelized. And whilst we're waiting for that to happen, let's grab a couple of cloves of garlic. We're just gonna crush them with the back of the knife, remove the skin, and then we wanna finely chop them up. Okay, these are starting to look really good. Now, the reason we're putting the garlic in now instead of at the beginning is because obviously all that garlic would just burn um, if we put it in at the beginning. And as you can see, we've driven off the moisture, but it's also soaked up all the oil and the butter. So let's get the garlic in. And then all we need to do is just add in a couple more you know, knobs of butter there, because that way you're giving the garlic something to fry in. So let's give that a good toss. We're gonna cook that for about a minute, maybe two minutes, just until it gets really lovely and aromatic. That is looking fantastic. You know, at this point, you could add some thyme in here if you wanted to, but I just thought, nah, we don't need to do that. Let's just keep it really simple. And now we're gonna add a good glug of Madeira. Now, if you're not familiar with Madeira, it's a fortified wine, just like sherry, it comes from masala. It's got a lovely sweetness to it, but it also has a wonderful depth of flavor and body. You wanna cook that down until it's almost reduced by probably about three quarters, half to about three quarters. So we boil off the alcohol and we're left with that wonderful flavor. So let's grab some cream. We're just gonna pour that in, and that's, I don't know, probably roughly about a cup. Now let's bring that up to the boil. Reduce down to, uh, to basically a sauce consistency, and the way you check that is you grab your wooden spoon there, wipe your finger down it, and if it looks like that, you know it's at sauce consistency. So let's pop that to the side and then get our griddle pan on the go. So whilst we're waiting for the griddle pan to get smoking, smoking hot, I've got this beautiful bread here. We're gonna cut two thick slices. Let's drizzle that with olive oil, and then we can just rub that in, rub it around the board. We wanna make sure that we get a good coating of olive oil on either side. Right, the pan is red hot, so let's get our bread in there. Now this is only gonna take 30 seconds, a minute on each side. Let's turn them over, and that is exactly what we're looking for, guys. We want that lovely bar mark, because that's gonna add 
a, you know, a new flavor to the dish as well. So you've kind of got this lovely charry, smoky flavor to it. Okay, let's reheat our mushrooms. Finish them off with some parsley, a little bit more salt, a splash more cream, and let's plate up. Right, here we go, guys. Oh my word, I am so looking forward to this. It smells absolutely incredible. Oh, that's, come on, that's gonna be too big. Let's get a little bit, little bit less. Mm. Mm. One moment, please. Mm. That is gonna be the best mushrooms on toast you have ever had. I mean, how simple. Mushrooms, garlic, Madeira, cream. Better parsley. So, British Prody, with your request for creamy, garlicky mushrooms on toast. What do you reckon? And the most important thing, get those bar marks on the toast, guys. Just adds a new kind of flavor dimension, makes it taste absolutely wonderful, that little bit of smokiness uh, on there. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. Get in the comments, make sure you go and tell all your mates to come and subscribe to Kitchen Daddy. I'll see you next week with something equally delicious. Take care, bye-bye.